So we had some uh, some videos last night, and people were asking, "Is this a uh, look, Pete?" We and initially it was like, "Look at the tornado." I'm like, "No, it's not a tornado." Uh, so the big question is, is it a gushnado or is it a tornado? April Torres, we talked to her live on the air last night. She's in North Lake, so thanks to April for giving us her time and also for sending us. I mean, look at that and for also sending us this video. So what's the difference between a gust NATO and a tornado and how did we know that that was a gust NATO and not a tornado? Okay, so there's a couple of different things you have to think about. Here's what we have. We have the dense rain cooled air and that sinks, right? You know, the cool air sinks because it's heavier than, the, than the, uh, the, the warmer air. It sinks and it hits the surface and then it spreads out. That's what we had taking place last night. This leading edge right here of the gust front, it interacts with the warmer, unstable air ahead of the storm. And when that takes place, we have this interaction. It sometimes leads to these short-lived spin-ups or these gust nados that we have. So exactly what's a gust nado? It's just a weak rotation that forms along the leading edge of a thunderstorm outflow. They're not attached to the base of the storm. If you're going to have a tornado, it has to be attached to the base of the storm. And you could clearly see on that video, it wasn't attached to the base of the storm. So they're, and they're pretty small, relatively speaking. They're less than 100 feet wide. And they, again, they only last for a few seconds, maybe a minute or two at the most. But they can produce some localized wind damage, and they also have some debris that's associated with them, but they're much less destructive than a tornado. And again, that one didn't last too long, but it was pretty impressive video. High today was 66, the low was 46, the normals 65 and 44, pretty close to normal. 65 outside right now with a northwest wind at three miles per hour. Pollen today, everything's there today. Mountain Cedars high, elm, mulberry, oak, and pine are there, and so is fungus. That's all on the pollen page. I expect it to stay up this weekend. Skies have cleared out, but here we go. Another big cool down's on the way. This is early next week. We'll have this frontal boundary that'll move in. It'll kind of hang across the area throughout the middle part of the week. And we'll just have waves of showers, waves of thunderstorms. The severe weather threat's going to be pretty limited, but we will have much colder than normal uh, temperatures on the way. And I do have two uh, potential times that we could see a freeze in the forecast. And as we head through next week, it's really Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and even on Friday, we have a chance of rain. We could pick up another half an inch to an inch, depending on where that, that frontal boundary settles. If it settles a little farther to the south, these rainfall, higher rainfall totals will shift with it. If the front settles a little more to the north, and we'll take that heavier rain to the north. But we're looking right now at about a half an inch to an inch of rain, higher amounts northeast, lower off to the south and southwest. Tonight, mostly clear, cool, light winds, 45 is a low tonight. During the day tomorrow, we hit 74. A warmer day, light winds, mostly sunny skies tomorrow. So mid-70s tomorrow, 74, 76 Sunday, 81 on Monday. And then, how about this? You like a little bit of rain? It comes into the forecast on Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday. Anywhere from 10 to 40 percent of us, those rain coverages will go up higher, but right now 10 uh, to 40 percent of us see rain Tuesday through Friday. And then next week, and look at the cool down, look at Saturday, 31. Last time I checked, Cynthia, that's a freeze. Saturday, uh, Sunday morning, 32. That's another freeze. So, and the time changes next weekend. Oh, great. Day spring forward. Daylight saving time begins spring forward. Don't forget to change your batteries and your smoke detectors the carbon monoxide detectors and the air filters.